Hola familia! Welcome back to my channel, Lily Sabri here. I hope you guys are well. Thank you for joining me for today's video, which is one that has been requested more than any other video ever. Today's video is me teaching you five hacks on how to activate your core instantly. I spent years, absolutely years, trying to work out where my core was, how to activate it during exercise, but also just in day-to-day -day life. And it's only a couple of years ago now that it truly all fell into place after studying physiotherapy, after becoming a Pilates instructor, that I just kind of had that light bulb moment where I was like, okay, I've been doing this all wrong. So without further ado, I'm gonna teach you my five hacks on how to instantly activate your core and get the results in your stomach that you deserve. Let's get going. I just quickly tied up my hair because no one likes a workout video where hair is flying all over the place. Okay, tip number one is find your core. Now what I mean by that is the location of your core, where actually is it? So whenever I teach classes or I have one-to-one -one patients from a physio point of view, I ask them, where do you think your core is? And most people point to this area here, the six pack area, the outer muscles. Technically, yes, they are involved in your core, but your core is actually a corset of muscles that start at the front of your body and come all the way round to the back. Your core is made up of many muscles, but your true core is your transversus abdominis, and that's the deep abdominal muscles that actually lie four layers deep. So I'm gonna bring you down onto the mat and show you how to find it. Okay, so to find your core, what you're gonna do is take two fingers on each hand and place them on the bony parts of your hips, okay? From there, you're gonna move in roughly an inch and then roughly down an inch into your brief line. From there, you're gonna take a deep breath in and then you're gonna have a cough. <coughs> and you should feel that those muscles pop underneath the fingers, okay? I'm gonna show you that again. Two fingers on the bony parts of your hips, move in an inch, move down an inch, into the brief line, <coughs> and they are your core muscles, those muscles that pop underneath the fingers. So that's where your transversus abdominis is situated. So it's all well and good knowing where it is, but how do you actually activate them? That takes me on to hack numero dos activating your core. Now it's all well and good me talking to you about this, but you actually have to feel where your core muscles are. Now the best way of doing this is grabbing a Pilates ball. If you don't have one of these, I fully appreciate most people won't have one of these, you just grab a pillow. And you're gonna pop this ball underneath the small of the back into the coccyx area, and you're gonna lie on top of it. Now what this does, this or a pillow, is create an uneven surface which is gonna force your core to work, okay? From there, you place your arms down by the side of your body. You're gonna lift one leg up to 90 degrees, and you'll notice it's already a little bit unstable. And from there, you're gonna try and lift the other leg up as well. Now, while you're here, you want to try and soften the rib cage down, pull the stomach muscles in nice and tight. So in this position, your core has no other option than to work, okay? This is your core stability. If you can, you're gonna try and bring yourself up into a crunch, and anyone more advanced, try and lift one hand, and maybe the other. So now we've worked out where the core muscles are, what they should feel like when they're activated, we now need to work out how to get correct form to activate them. So tip three is correct form. We're gonna talk about imprinting the spine. Now what I mean by imprinting, you may have also heard the words core vacuuming or a hollow hold. That is basically what imprint is. We're gonna take ourselves from anterior pelvic tilt, which is this area where our lower back is really arched and the lumbar spine is at risk of injury. We're gonna flatten the back into the mat, taking ourselves into posterior pelvic tilt, squeezing the butt muscles, pulling those stomach muscles in, single leg tabletop, double leg tabletop, and peel your way up. You're gonna keep that lower back flat, and I encourage you to just try and hold this position first of all, keeping those stomach muscles nice and tight. Once you've mastered that, and you know that your core is working, you can start introducing other movements to this. So tip four is to activate your core as often as possible. Initially, I did say activate your core all the time, but I know that's totally unrealistic to activate your core 24-7. But I guess the message I'm trying to get across here is doing 10 minutes of abs 
twice a week at the end of a workout session isn't going to get you results. We need to be thinking about activating our core when we're walking around, when we're sitting. That is how we're going to get results and we're going to get a strong core. Now the best way of doing this is giving yourself a reminder, an activity that you do every single day. Now it might be your 30 minute drive to work. Every time you hit a red traffic light, I encourage you to imprint the spine while you're sitting and pull those stomach muscles in nice and tight, activate your core for 10 seconds, however long it might be, and then let it go again until you hit the next red light. It's finding some type of trigger like that that will remind you to activate your core throughout the day. It sounds silly, but I can't tell you how effective that is. So on to hack number five, my final hack. Those of you who do my home workout videos will know how much I love this exercise. I have chucked in hundreds. So hundreds, in my opinion, is the most effective exercise for activating your core. Whenever you're doing a core session or an ab session, you feel like you're just not working them, you're not hitting those stomach muscles, I encourage you to get down, complete 100 repetitions of this exercise, and then you will be set. So I'm gonna show you guys from above. What you're gonna do is imprint the spine like we did before. Soften the ribcage down. You can see that my core is really nice and active there. Some people call this a bikini bridge where you really see that the muscles are popping out. From there, single leg tabletop, double leg tabletop. Bring yourself up into a crunch. Core's nice and tight, lower back's flat. And you're gonna pump the arms up and down for 100 repetitions, okay? You wanna make it harder, straighten the legs out. And I can guarantee you that this exercise is gonna activate your core. So that right there, guys, were my five hacks to activating your core. If you implement them on a daily basis, I can guarantee you, you're gonna start to see results in your stomach area and fast. Now, please don't forget there's other facts to consider, your nutrition, fat burning exercises, and your form. So everything we just covered, they are the three main things to getting results in your stomach area. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, do all the things that you know I would love you to do. If you didn't enjoy it, feel free to hit the dislike, but please don't, I'd much rather you hit like, so yeah, hit like. And also drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought of it and if you have any other requests. I'm uploading five videos a week at the moment, so I'm reading all of your comments. I would love your feedback. I'm gonna stop talking because I'm blabbering on and I've got to film a real time workout now, but at least my core is activated, okay? Bye.